Hello everyone and welcome back to The Binding of Weakest. When we last left off, I think that we played as Isaac. And this time we are going to play as... Um... Eve. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't done an Eve run in a long time. I like Eve, kind of. Curse of Darkness. I think I ever get curses, I realize that. Um... I never get like Curse of the Labyrinth or Curse of Darkness or whatever the other. I think there's one more, but I don't remember what it is. Like Curse of the Blind or Curse of the Lost. I think it's Curse of the Lost. Blow that up. Alright, and we'll take care of this guy. And we got a pill. Let's see what it is. Friends till the end. It's actually a good pill. Well, it's a decent pill. It'll help us a, a little bit against war. Um, so the damage isn't that great. Uh, main strategy, just gonna get War to try and hit himself. <laughs> Why are you hitting yourself, War? Why are you hitting yourself? Oh, get out! <laughs> Alright, War's almost dead. Now we'll probably get some bombs or bomb-related items. And he almost walked right freaking into me. What the hell, War? Or Wrath? Wrath? What? Did they call him War this entire time? His name's Wrath. Not war. What the hell? <laughs> what the hell am I saying? I don't know. Let's try and find our item. Oh, hey. Well, there it is. Maybe we'll get a bitchin' damage upgrade. Or a heart. A half heart. We got a shoop to whoop Which is a decent spacebar item. So that'll help us out with the de damage. Oh, my. Okay. <laughs> oh, okay. That could have been very bad. Um, Golden Poop gave me a lot of cash, though. Thank you, Golden Poop, for giving me a lot of money. Um, no, oh, damn it. I wish I had more damage. Alright, damage upgrade is what we're going to be hoping for from this boss. If we don't get a damage upgrade, that'll kind of suck. Because Eve has pretty terrible damage to start the game. And so we want to have as much damage as possible going into these boss fights and such. So... Duke Flies should be fairly easy. Um, I know I don't have the best attack, which actually may help hurt me a little bit, not being able to kill these flies that fast. I think these flies are going to be the biggest problem I have here. Duke Flies is not the ideal boss. I would have rather had, like, a Larry Jr., but I suppose that getting the Duke Flies is so bad. He's not that difficult, in all honesty. It's just, he's kind of annoying when you have such low of a damage output as I do. So, getting, actually hitting him is hard enough with all these flies flying around. Um, that guy's going to be a problem if I don't kill him. So, hopefully, we can just take him out sooner rather than lay, I'll lay a bomb down, actually. Right. I opened up a little bit of an opportunity for me to kind of see if I can drop a bomb in. Ah, fuck. I keep missing. <laughs> This is why you don't use bombs in bosses like this. Pin is a pretty good boss to use a bomb on because you just kind of... Alright, dead bird. He's going to be my guy. Getting hate here is actually probably a really good thing. Um, come on. Just die already. <laughs> Thank you. I was one left. Got him. And we got a HP upgrade, which is fine. Um, I can take an HP upgrade and we'll move on to the next floor since we have no reason left to be up here. And now we're looking, we're on the lookout for a key. Key, key, where's the key? Button, button, who's got the button? If you get that reference, I applaud you. Although it may be a reference to multiple things that I don't know, but I'm referencing one thing in particular. So, let's get hit by the spider and lose half the spirit heart that we got from that boss fight that took us forever. It'll take us straight to the item room, so we don't have to use a key to get it. And we got the Mitre, which is actually a pretty good item. It uh, will occasionally give us uh, Spirit Hearts when we complete a room. So, that's not so bad. We definitely could have gotten a worse item by far. So, you know, the Mitre's not a terrible item, and I'm not going to complain about it. I'm actually really happy about it, because it'll help us in the long run to possibly get into permanent curse state. Which would be cool, but I'm not going to hold my breath on it. If I can't get into it, I can't get into it. So, you know, uh, if I can't get into it, then I'll just focus on playing Eve like a regular character. Uh, we got Pride, which isn't difficult. Which one shoop-de-whoop took it down to almost dead, pretty much. 
Um, we got another stars, which will help us get into the item room on the next floor. Assuming that we keep this card that long. Uh, pretty much just getting into item rooms for free. And getting hit a lot. Alright. Let's just pick up this heart and spiders. Spiders, spiders, fucking spiders. Okay. Come on. Just die. I need a damage upgrade. Um, I don't know what this red chest could hold for me. It could hold spirit hearts. It could hold something really cool. I don't know yet, but I think we're going to use a bomb to open it. We got double troll bombs, and I walked right into that. Awesome. And we might as well. We got Guppy's Paw. It'll take heart containers and give us spirit hearts. Alright. I think that should be good. Alright. We got a secret room over here, so let's go ahead and go in there. Uh, got a bunch of money. We can go to the shop now, on this floor. We have enough money to do that. And we're gonna go ahead and bomb our way out. We are in permanent curse today with, uh, Guppy's Paul. That was actually a pretty huge pickup, in all honesty. Uh, it allows us to get into permanent curse today and have a lot of money. Or, and get a lot of money from the secret room. But it lets us get into per permanent curse today. Yeah, permanent curse today. And, ooh, nuns have it. That'll actually be pretty helpful later on. Um, if not, it's, it might not be helpful now so much, but it'll be definitely helpful later on. And we got a spirit heart from the fire. All right, we're looking really good right now. So we got pin, which is fine. Um, pin's not too difficult. Uh, I'm not gonna use my shoop to whoop here because it would be kind of difficult to judge. Or we can just do it when he does that. Eh, oh well. Either way. I guess uh, we would kill Pin relatively easily. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of HP. It's pretty easy to hit overall. Don't want to get hit by that. It'll take off a whole heart of damage. Okay, we got him. Got it. Took a little bit of damage. Don't want to pick up that heart. Ooh. Now we got a problem. You know, actually, what I'm going to do is I think this should take spear or regular hearts first, right? Alright, and we got the packs really quickly. This is shaping up to look like it's going to turn out to be a really good run. <laughs> we got the packs, we got uh, a bunch of spear hearts from Guppy's Paw, we got the HP upgrade. So, you know, we're looking pretty good now. The only issue I th can foresee us having is with, like, these flies in this room. <laughs> Alright. Alright, well, I'll just kill this fly. Untrap these two dudes. Right. I probably could use my shoop to whoop here, but it's not too big of a deal if I didn't. Okay, that was bad. That was bad. Ooh. I'm trying really hard not to sneeze here. And we got the Emperor card that changes us directly to the boss, and we got the Stars card that takes us directly to the item room. So we're gonna use this. We're gonna get PhD, which is actually pretty decent. It'll let us, it'll help us identify pills and get us better pills overall, so. The only thing I could really want right now is a, like, a devil room, uh, to go in a, oh, no, no, it's not gonna work. I need a blood bank. That's what I need. Excuse me. Ah, excuse me, alright. I need a blood bank, uh, so I can get back into my permanent curse state. Because I don't want to go into that self-sacrifice devil room thing, because that'll just cause me to, um, it'll just cause me to take up a spirit heart, which I don't want to do, even though I'm probably going to take a bunch of damage on this room, so, that's something. I took out two dudes already. These guys really suck, because I'm pretty sure they do, like, a whole heart, or, like, a half heart of damage. I think they do a whole heart. I'm pretty sure, and that's why they're annoying. We got a pill. We might as well... Oh, I don't have any bombs to pick that up. A flying item would be really nice, or a ladder, actually, would probably be sufficient. Hey, hey, and we got our blood bank, so... Alright, we'll go ahead and take out these guys, and then play our blood bank a few times, because that'll take out uh, regular hearts as opposed to spirit hearts, so... Let's go ahead and play it. We got six cents on that first play, which is really good. We got two more, and we'll play it one last time to get back into curse state. And now we are almost ready to go to the shop. So, let's go ahead and head over this way. I really need some bombs. I'd really like it if this guy would bomb over here. Come on. Thank you. Yeah, that's good enough. As long as I can get to the chest. These guys are actually really convenient. There's like a 
place that you need bombs in the room, because you can kind of just coax them into bombing that area. Pick up this. We got some money and key. We're doing good on keys. Um, I am not going to deny how good we are doing on keys, but yeah, in terms of like damage, we could be doing a lot better. Although we did get the pact, which is very helpful. We are in curse state, which is also helpful. But overall, I think that we're gonna need a little bit more to get us over the edge. So we got greed, mini greed douchebags, which we can take care of relatively relative ease. Um, getting hit doesn't really help us get hit or take not take damage. But um, let's see if we can just get rid of this guy. I kind of let those other two. Just kind of walk into me, which is really dumb, but whatever. Uh, yeah. Okay. I took care of these guys. I think that was a good use of my laser, in all honesty. Um, this room wasn't too bad. I would like to get some more cash and then go visit the shop. Maybe there would be a ladder in there, which would actually be really helpful. Um, I don't know what else could be in there, but a ladder sounds good. A flying item sounds really good, but I take a ladder for now. I could accept. I could accept a ladder. I could justify buying a ladder this early. Flying item looking a little bit more like I would want that instead. But all right, we got spiders, which is fine. Only took a little bit of damage there. Ah. All right, I didn't want to do that, but I guess it happens. Took a little more damage than I wanted to there, but hopefully we'll be able to... Oh, I don't want to pick up that. Oh! I guess there is that blood bank in the other room. I think I'll pick this up, and then I'll go visit the blood bank, and then pick up that other full heart and visit that blood bank, and maybe be able to get a health upgrade. Or some cash in general would be nice. Uh, we got a bunch of cash, which means we can go to the shop now. I'm actually going to go back and pick up that full heart and then play the blood bank two more times. Blood banks are... Oh, I can't. It's right. Uh, blood banks are actually very useful when playing as Eve because it helps you get down to your curse seat even though you ha might have a bunch of spirit hearts like I do now. Hopefully the miter kicks in and uh, <laughs> gets me a couple of spirit hearts, but I'm kind of banking on it. Like, or do we have a curse? Like, curse of the labyrinth or something? Because I feel like this floor is humongous. But I have no idea. Uh, we're not killing spiders nearly as quick as I would love like to. Alright, come on. I think we might have Curse of the Labyrinth. Get him. Got him. Good. Alright, we got a Spirit Heart, so maybe the Miter at work. Thank you, Miter, if that was you. If not, uh, thank you for existing. <laughs> Almost took some dumb damage there. Let's open up this. Got a tarot card. The fool takes us back to the spawn. We might use that to avoid some backtracking later. Um, we can take care of these nubs fairly easily, I would assume. Alright. That was pretty easy. Got a bunch of money and a bomb in the chest. Really just looking for that shop. Uh, okay. We're taking a lot of hits, which I don't like, and I don't know how that guy survived that, but he did, and I'm taking a lot of damage, a lot of really dumb damage that I shouldn't be taking, so hopefully I can turn this around. Right, there you go. Fire my laser, kill one of those guys, probably could have used that a little bit better, but I kind of panicked a little bit in all honesty. Alright, come on, just die. Right, we got a golden poop, which I will break open, get a bunch of money from. So we're doing really good on cash. Uh, the only thing that I can foresee us needing would be health, because I keep just blowing myself up for no reason. And, um, damage. <laughs> if I would stop, like, just exploding things in my face, I think I'd be a little better off. Alright, we got the... This is the Emperor Terror card. Alright, we'll, we'll take this. More of these stupid locomotive dudes. Right, there's golden poop. We're getting, we're finding a lot of golden poop on this floor. Uh, <laughs> I think we found one. We found we found two or three on this floor alone. So that's actually pretty lucky because golden poop are actually really rare. 
And I don't think I've ever said anything like that before in my entire life. So, alright. We got another golden poop. Which, I'll bust that baby. Oh, and we have the item room that we never went into. Oh no, this is a cursed little thing. And we're gonna pick up Bum Friend. Bum Friend. He'll pick up our money and give us items for it, so. You know, you never. You could pick up some cool. or find some cool stuff. So. I don't really need anything else. Oh, I changed back from a golden poop. That's stupid. Alright, what's in this? Uh, bloody lust. Uh, the more damage we do, or the more enemies we kill in a room, the more damage that will do overall, so. It's kind of like a weird damage upgrade that you actually have to work for it, so. And. I don't want to pick this up. Alright, we'll just do this. Alright. And we'll leave. And we're gonna go pick up that pill, actually, because PhD will tell us what it is in one moment or another. I'm actually gonna bomb this open. Maybe I'll drop a spirit harder. Yeah. That's exactly what I wanted. Uh, no reason to go for that, but we are gonna try and get this thing. Ah, bum friend, what are you doing? <laughs> Damn it, bum friend. What the hell? Okay. Alright, we're just gonna wait a second. Tears up. It's a good upgrade. Emperor card takes us directly to the boss. I think we'll save that. I didn't even know this was Curse of the Labyrinth. Wow. Alright. I think this is like the first time I've ever had Curse of the Labyrinth, in all honesty. Not gonna look for the secret room, because there are too many uh, possibilities for it. So, let's head over to the boss room, if we can. And then... Fight Pestilence, so... Fire our laser. Didn't do that much. Took some dumb damage, because we can't like dodge or something. <laughs> I tried to fire my laser a little bit too much, I think. I got a little too excited. I was like, I'm gonna fire my laser! And then, uh, I subsequently died. Or pretty much subsequently died. But we do have a recharge, which means we'll have it for the next boss, too, which is really good. Uh, let's see what kind of... We're gonna get cute meat, which is good. It'll help us take projectile damage, which is helpful. Alright, let's see here. Alright. That was a pretty good hit. Right. We're not taking too much of advantage on our bloody lust, but... Uh, Cuba Me is proving his worth, and that boss dropped two spirit hearts, which is fantastic. We got an HP upgrade, which is pretty cool. Let's see what Satan's got. It's Krampus. Alright, that's pretty good, I guess. Krampus isn't a terrible guy. He'll give us the lump of coal, which is something that... You know, I'd actually rather have... I wouldn't really have... Too many, I don't have too much health to be giving to the devil willy-nilly, so fighting Krampus here is actually pretty helpful. Uh, Cuba Me is already proving his worth, man. He is... Oh, I already blew up that blood bank, didn't I? Uh, I shouldn't have. Because I probably figured I would have gotten a heart back for the boss. I did take a hit there from Krampus, which is fine. I'm not too worried about it. Alright, now I'm a little worried about it. We'll fire a laser at him. Dead Bird taking him down slowly but surely. Thank you, Dead Bird, for your help. I really appreciate it. We got Dead Bird doing continuous damage, even if we can't sh shoot Krampus ourselves. Dead Bird is there to pick up some slack. Maybe we can wait for Dead Bird to just finish him off. Come on, Dead Bird. Yeah, Dead Bird kills are always satisfying. So, we got a an upgrade here. Um, really nowhere else to go. We'll save our Emperor card for now at least. And we'll go to the depths one, so if we find any money, that's gonna all go to good old bum friend is gonna be able to pick that up. Uh lump of coal, if you don't know how it works, basically the farther away you are from an enemy, the more damage it'll do. Or the farther the bullet the bomb yeah, the tear travels, the more damage that it'll do. So a bomb for a bomb and whatever's in here is pretty good. Alright, bum friend took that, that's alright. I guess we did say that Bumfriend would be getting all my money from now on. Alright, we're gonna hit these dudes. Right, we're gonna be looking out for the shop on this floor, because we do have enough money to make it worthwhile. Um, I would like a speed upgrade, I think. It would actually be helpful. Um, that'll give us a trinket if we play it. Eh, we have a lot of keys. Alright, we'll play it a few times. We got a spear heart. This thing can give us spear hearts and trinkets, so it's pretty much worth playing. Uh, I don't know what the pushpin does exactly, but we'll hold on to it unless we get another trinket on this play. Because I do want to save my money for the shop. And we got two spirit hearts and a trinket out of four plays, so that's actually pretty good in all honesty. Um, I'll take care of those zoots. 
Might as well, because we have Nun's Habit to help recharge our fire and our laser. And, you know, in general, we just, those things are a pain in the ass, especially when you have a bunch of bomb flies flying around. Being bomb flies. Or laser flies. I think they're, I guess they're laser flies, not bomb flies. But, you know, same difference. Let's see what's up here. Maybe we'll find, I right, found the boss room already. Which is good. Right, these flies need to go. Come on, fly. Come on, fly. Thank you. Right, and we'll just hit this brain from over here. Make our way over here and hit this brain from over here. Get a key. We can fight the boss right away, but I think that I would rather not. I think I'd rather find the shop and the item room first. So let's go ahead and make our way up. Eh, no, up's probably going to be a dead end. Yeah, it was just a fistula. Which isn't too bad. Fistula's not a terrible enemy. And we're doing pretty good damage even without the curse state, so I'm probably not going to be trying too hard to be getting into my curse state. But if we do find a blood bank or an arcade, I will definitely be taking advantage of it and getting back into my curse state. Maybe getting an HP upgrade along the way, so. Um, yeah. Temperance card actually would be welcomed at this point. Um, really just want this super hopper to die, I guess. Super jumpy dude. Super jumpy dude needs to die because he's causing me anger and frustration. So we got another penny. So whatever's left over, we're going to be playing on that item or that uh, whatever it is. That Why can't I think of the name? The stupid tarot card machine. No. The... What is it called? Like, I know what it's called. Like, I know it's uh, something thing. I can't think of it. We're going to wait a second to let that speed up. Alright. Speed upgrade's good. Emperor card's good. Let's see if we can find, like, a spirit heart or something from this poop. Nothing. Alright. I didn't want to do that. Alright, well, I guess Bum Frank gets a little bit of money, but... Chocolate milk. I don't know if I want chocolate milk. <laughs> chocolate milk's one of those items where you can charge up shots and but I find myself just not just tapping the button more than I actually use chocolate milk. So I'm actually going to pass on that, which may be a mistake, I don't know. Uh, but for now, I'm going to assume that it's not, because in all honesty, I never really use chocolate milk the way it's intended to be used. I never use it like as a charge item, mostly because I don't like charge items. Like, I never use, or I try not to use brimstone. Um, every time I've tried to use brimstone, it's ended horribly for me. Uh, we got Greed in this room. He's almost dead, and he's dead. He dropped us a bunch of money and a full heart. I should let Bumfriend have all that. I don't know. I keep forgetting that Bumfriend's there. Like, the one time I've actually noticed Bumfriend, he's just kind of been a douche. So we got a penny for Bumfriend, actually, um, that he will get after we kill this last brain and take damage for no reason from that. We have two Emperor cards, which is pretty cool. We got a bunch of bombs. Let's check out this last room. This bomb fly and like a fighting room dude. Uh, look, really looking for an arcade. In all honesty, I'd really like to find an arcade. Um, I think an arcade would be super cool with the, one of those machines. I might just end up playing most of this money at that tarot card trinket machine. Which I can't, why can't I not remember the name of that machine? I have no idea, but it's really bothering me. Let's see what the is in here. Golden chest with a bunch of stuff in it. Oh my god. Right, we're just gonna take this. You know what? I'm actually going to try and get these guys to disappear. Pick up all this, and then use my Emperor card and take me directly to the boss. So I don't actually have to deal with any of those angel fetuses, which is all right in my book. We use the laser on Loki here. Loki shouldn't... Oh my gosh, my voice got really loud and cracked a lot. Loki shouldn't be too terrible, in all honesty. Um, I'm sorry about that, by the way, because I, I hurt my ears to listen to. I apologize to everyone, but... All right, I'm going to try and kill Loki. Loki's not too bad. The biggest... Pro like, the biggest, like... The worst thing about Loki is, like, the bomb flies. And it might not even be the bomb, it might just be the, that spiky thing, actually, is probably the worst thing about um, this boss, but we got a bunch of spirit hearts, we gotta deal with the devil, he wants to give us the mark for two hearts, 
and the Ouija board for three spirit hearts. Both are very, very tempting. Um, I think I'll take the mark. Yeah. If I can find an arcade, I only have to play it once. Three spirit hearts. That'll leave me at one, two, seven. I think. Five. Yeah, it'll leave me at seven spirit hearts if I take this. Ooh. I'm very tempted. I, I'm doing it. Who dares wins, right? Okay. Um, I guess we can go ahead. Actually, I'm going to backtrack. Um, because I do have a few things I want to do left on this floor. I want to play this a little bit more to try and get um, some spirit hearts from it. And I want to go over yonder to see if there may be. Because there may be a. Um, I'm going to pick up the Zipper card now. And there may be an arcade over here. And if there's an arcade over here, I definitely want to be playing that. Or at least checking it out. But unfortunately, no. Alright, firing. That's a good use of I'm a fire in my laser. Uh, we did get a spirit heart out of it, so the trek was worth it in my book. Uh, we're going to go over here. We might as well check for the secret room, since we have a bunch of bombs. That wasn't it. And we'll give it one more try down here. And then we'll probably just give up on the secret room if it's not here. And look at that. We got a fortune teller. That's what it's called. Um, I think we're going to blow up this fortune teller. It gave us a bomb and two cents, which is good, because we can use that to play the other fortune teller. Um, really nothing huge on my decision of which fortune teller to be uh, playing, but that one's in the secret room, so I might as well just do that, because I can blow it up, try and get some money or spirit hearts, and then continue on to this one. So Maybe we'll get a better trinket, maybe we'll get more spirit hearts. I would really hope for both of those, actually, because I would rather have... A trinket that I know what it does, like the safety cap, is actually pretty decent because we have PhD. Um, it'll increase pill drops, I think, or give us better pills, or both. So, with PhD, we'll be able to tell what they are, and it'll just be a good time. So we got the hero font, which I want this. I want to go up here, and I want to use this, because it'll give us two of these. So, so far it's paid out with two uh, spirit hearts for us. We got the moon, which takes us to the secret room. Which is alright, but I'd rather have this one. We got the world, which shows us everything. Which I think I actually might like want a little bit more than the other two. We got the rest of key, which increases key drops, which shouldn't be too much of a problem in, right now, so I'm not going to worry about it. Alright. We'll play down to the... We have no money left, I think. Because we got the moon card, which I don't really want. And this thing pretty much paid out as much as it could, so... We ended up getting, like, three spirit hearts from it, which is good. I will definitely take three spirit hearts for all that. We got a world card, which will help us find the secret room, as well as show us everything else on the next floor. So I think we're going to be pretty good to go on the... Oh, we're in the necropolis, though, so... It's fine. We might as well use it. All right. So we got the item room right over here, which is good. We're doing really good damage to these spiders, which I'm very happy about. Um, just kind of got it. Come on. Come on. Finally being able to kill him. All right, I'm going to let Bum Friend get all this money. We're going to come over here. Bum Friend, give me something. Heart. All right, if we find an arcade, that'll be useful. Plus 10 bombs, not the greatest, but useful in its own way, I guess. There's no arcade on this floor. Um, okay. This... I do have, I have spectral tears now. Yeah, that's right. I forgot I got the Ouija board. So basically, we got that Ouija board for free. Um, because we ended up getting three um, hearts, spirit hearts back from that uh, fortune teller. So, you know, we're actually looking pretty good. A range upgrade wouldn't be a terrible thing to be getting right now, in all honesty. I wouldn't mind getting a range upgrade, because it's probably going to be pretty useful for getting enemies across the room. So, But I really haven't been getting any range upgrades or anything like that, so... Just trying to do some damage this game. Maybe he'll run into the spike... Which helps us out. Alright, okay. There he goes, he runs right into Spike, kills himself. Troll Bomb. Oh, this ice pen will... Pill will identify itself in a second. It's luck up. Let's take it. Alright. And we'll go up a room. Let's see what's up in here. We got these guys, which kind of sucks, because these guys suck in general. Yeah. Alright, well, we got some pen pennies for 
bum friend to pick up, which is fine. Um, we did lose a lot of spirit hearts and such, which worries me. We did get a spirit heart, though. Bum friend gave us a pill, which is tears up, which I will gladly take, because it's a pretty decent pill. We got a lot of speed, which is good. We're doing pretty good on damage, in all honesty. And, you know, might as well go up. I have 18 bombs? Holy shit. I know I had 18 bombs. Dang it. Alright, right, but we are we have rage, which means the more enemies we kill, the more damage we do. So we'll let bum friend get that penny. Come on, bum friend. Come get this penny. Alright, we'll go into the secret room. If there's a bunch of pennies in it, lock up. If there's a bunch of money in it, we'll let Brum friend have it, but... Oh. Yep, we're just gonna have to blow it up. Unfortunate, but... Whatever. We'll let Brum friend pick up all this change and see what he has for us. Anything? Nothing? Alright. Um... I guess we continue down. Alright, these guys are gonna... These guys kinda suck. gonna kind of snake our way. We took a little bit of unnecessary damage, probably, but, yeah, those guys, these guys suck, and I, mm. right, we got it. <laughs> We're just gonna use, I'm firing my laser, a little half-assed, a little, little more than we probably should, but, you know, it's, it happens, I guess. We probably should have taken damage there, and we did take damage there, and now we were in a terrible position, so, are you kidding? Hitting me right now. Right, well, we got to be very careful in this room. All right, we okay. That was that was good. That was a good use of that laser. That was a good laser. <laughs> I guess is what I'm trying to say. All right, we're gonna get a bomb. There's a bunch of stuff in here. Accidentally did that. We got the Liberty Cap. We got a bunch of stuff from Bum Friend. We got a World Card. I'd rather think I'd rather have this. What is that? Heart. Um, Alright, we're gonna go up some more. We got a spider. Alright, we got spiders. We got hang dudes. Hung dudes. Hopefully not getting hit anymore. I can't afford to be taking damage like I have been. Um, probably a good idea. Probably just to head straight to the boss. I don't know why I didn't do that in the first place. Might as well go into the boss room. It's nothing good. So we're gonna avoid it. Um... We do have Liberty Cab, which is a decent trinket, but I think that Safety Cab is going to be working a little bit better for us in the long run, so I'm going to keep that in my inventory for now. Kill the spiders. Took a little bit of dumb damage there. Hopefully we'll be picking up some more Spirit Hearts soon. Kill all the spider douchebags. Kill the bomb douchebags, because the bomb douchebags take out a whole heart. Take out the spider guy, and then one red guy left. Red guys I wasn't worried about, because I do have a cube of... <laughs> Yeah, okay. <laughs> Whew, I was really hoping that would work out. And it did, so yay! Alright. We got Spear Heart, which is good. Hopefully we'll be getting more. We got the Mom Fight, which is good, but... I mean, we've made it this far, so... Like, we've gotta... We gotta keep going. So we gotta keep... We gotta keep going. We gotta just keep on trucking. And not take dumb damage. That was kind of a waste of a laser. Alright, I'm getting a little bit overzealous, I think. Which is not good. I'm gonna kill this thing real quick, because that thing will be a problem. This guy will also be a problem if I'm not careful. Ugh, the... Those dudes without eyes aren't that much of an issue in all honesty. Alright, I should be good to go now. I think I should be good to go. Took a little bit of done damage, but... Are you fucking me right now? Are you... Ugh, fuck you. Dude, that was stupid. Alright, we'll use our world card. Alright, so now we know where to go. Ugh, this room sucks. Um, right, if I had the, the ability to fly, this wouldn't be so bad. Right, I gotta be very just careful. Right, now you die. Troll bomb, troll bomb, troll bomb. Okay. That could have been bad. I'm just gonna go straight to the boss. There's a key to unlock that, which is kind of dumb. But I did kill that guy, which is good. Didn't get anything for this room. Ooh, this room could be bad. I'm gonna try and bomb my way out without 
taking any damage, and I did it, somehow. And I can do that too, douchebags. Right. <laughs> Kill that guy. Nothing for my trouble, really. I might as well just blow up all the bombs in this room. It might be a spirit heart in them, I don't know. Alright, let's go up here. We got the My Little Unicorn, which I will take over this Shoop de Woop, because it'll be fully charged for my mom boss fight, or for this boss fight, which eh, honestly shouldn't be that bad, but I, I'm going to use it, I'm going to use it, I'm going to use it, it's not really doing that much, I, brought, I broke him down in the force, and I died, so, yeah, I was doing very well up until that last level, the Necropolis kind of screwed me over, uh, probably should have took that Emperor card, I probably could have avoided all of that, but, uh, in any case, I'm going to upload it. Because why not? It wasn't a terrible run. I just fucked up at the end. And everyone could just make fun of me for it, I guess. But I hope you all enjoyed watching. And I will catch you all next time.